Welcome to another edition of Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013 on Lomerheim. Alright, so uh, we finished seeding this field right here. As you can see, our canola over there has started to sprout a little bit. And we're currently in the process of seeding this. I was going to do this off camera, but then we had friends come over and I got... I fell behind in my recording of videos. So that's why this has not been done yet, if you're wondering. Uh, now, someone suggested that I don't use the... Uh, that I don't use the all-wheel drive, and that was the reason for... That was the thing that was causing the problem with the hard workers and whatnot. So what I've done is I have turned off... Let me just do this quickly. There. I've turned off all-wheel drive, or as I thought I did. There. It's off now. Um, so we're going to see whether or not that will make a difference or not. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten this guy out and... Uh, well, probably doesn't have space to do this, but let's just see. So, all-wheel drive comes on. Okay, so I just turned him off. Turned it off, I should say. Now... Why is he going that way? I don't know. Yeah, well that's what I was afraid of. I didn't think I was going to be enough space in this little area for him to do that, so... I guess I'll have to do it myself. Not too worried about that. 14 kilometers an hour. It's the maximum speed for this. So. I know we're seeding all over the place there, but it's a small seeder, so not too much waste going on there. It's a small field as well, so we got that done. All right, so let's finish up this field. I'm really happy we picked up this new tractor. I had a couple people comment about getting a new tractor. Uh, I forget who, I think it was John who said more power equals easier or something like that. Uh, too true with more realistic, so. So far, I'm enjoying the more realistic in the sense that it definitely changes the game quite a bit, um, which is a lot more than I can say about most other mods, because most other mods don't do it. Um, they just, you know, stay the same. Nothing really changes. Now, I thought I installed another mod, but I guess I didn't do it properly. It was one that Craft Farm suggested. I checked it out. It was uh, a mod that's supposed to make your show the person's hands, basically. Um, but I thought I installed it, but I must have not done it fully. So I think it's probably one of those situations where it needs to be. Um, you need to have un unpack the file twice or something like that, uh, or unpack the file at all, for that matter. So. Had a couple people asking me about how you unpack files or unzip files. Uh, a couple of recommendations. Well, the one that, for example, what I use is called WinZip, uh, which is an older program, I guess. It does have a free version, so that's the one I use. Or at least it used to have a free version, and maybe now it doesn't anymore. I don't know. So, uh, so this is the problem with this particular setup. I kind of have to do an enormous circle in order to get uh, get back around. Now, the diagonal lines don't bother me, but it would definitely bother some other people if they had diagonal lines like I have right now, so... I'm not that worried about it, to be honest with you. Alright, so what I'll have to do is... Uh, I, uh, I guess I can't test it out now, but I'll have to test it next time we have a heart. Uh, actually, no, we have a, a field over there that needs to be uh, cultivated still, so what I'll do is I'll try the no all-wheel drive thing. Uh, no all-wheel drive with a hard worker and see if that makes a difference or not. Um, because it was suggested that that was the reason why. Which could very well could be. Like, I don't remember this particular tractor having um, all-wheel drive in its normal form, but... Perfect! We got two fields seated. This is good. Didn't I just unf... Oh, I always selected something else. So, fold. There we go. Alright, now let's just drive this back to the farm. Let's get in here. Now the mod I was talking about that Craft Farm suggested was you could it was a mod that you where you could see your arms turn. Um, there's a mod that Dear Tempers did a spotlight on a while back. It was a motorcycle and oh uh, I'm not playing the wrong map to driving like that. Uh, anyways, Dear Tempers did a mod spotlight on it. And it was a motorcycle and it actually the person who made the mod actually modeled in the um, 
person's arms turning as well, which is pretty cool to see. Alright, so am I going to be able to get in there? No. The turning circle on this particular tractor is not the best, but I guess that's alright. Alright, so let's drop that off there. Right, this is... I don't know why. I haven't been playing that much Farming Simulator, but apparently um, it's been enough to forget that I'm playing on more realistic. Oops, I'm going to go the other side. And then I can't just stop and start in a dime like normal farm sim. But, I don't know, that's part of the game, I guess. A part of this, playing like this. Alright, now, one of the really nice things about this particular um, tractor, where is it? There. Uh, one of the nice things about this particular tractor is that when you kind of look be out behind you, so you're looking forward and then you kind of turn, and it actually you go over the seat so you can actually see where your three point is. I think that's a fantastic feature of this particular tractor. I wish more tractors, uh, more mods had that because it would be cool. Oh my goodness, this looks so funny with this little, on this tractor. Now I should, quote unquote, be able to fill this up right here. Now I have the filler, unfold, turn on, refill. Okay, now, this is going to cost a lot. I'm pretty sure. So we have $5,475 right at this particular moment. Do we have anything we can sell? Okay, we do have some stuff we could sell. Okay, so let's see how much this costs to fill this up. 540, so that's been 400. 1,000. We're just gonna do that for the time being. Hopefully that's enough. I doubt it will be, but in light of not uh, breaking the bank doing this, we're gonna do it that way for the time being. Let's see how it goes. Now this is a small, sprayer. I believe it's got a 10, I think it's a 10 meter width on it. Alright, there we go. Well, that's not too bad, actually. It looks a lot smaller. Now, how fast can I go with this? I don't know. Well, it's not going to last very long. Let's see. I'm going to put it in second gear. Can I go that fast? How fast can I go? 15. Alright, well, that's good to know. And try and conserve this because this is stuff is not going to be cheap. Not in this scenario, at least. That's for sure. So what I'll try and do is I'm going to try and do um, do a headlands first. And well, I guess I really don't need to do much of the headlands. Oh yeah, we're going to need a lot more than one tank than the hundred liters. Jeez. Now, one thing, as I mentioned last time, this tractor does have wither wheels on it, so I need to be careful when the crop is actually uh, fully grown. Uh, that's something I need to be careful about. Alright, so... Oops. Let's turn that back on there. Try and not waste any... Yeah, that's all we got from that. Oh, this is going to be expensive. So this is the one thing, one downfall of uh, the more realistic mod is seeds, and... Fertilizer costs an arm and a leg. Not literally an arm and a leg, obviously. But they do. They do quite cost quite a bit. Um, ooh, we just missed that tree, juice. But it does make it interesting because in real life, fertilizer and seeds are expensive. Like canola is a very expensive seed. Like to get a pallet's worth of canola, it costs like five grand or whatever. Probably more than that, actually. But that's just a guess. All right, so we're just gonna fill this up. Let's see how painful that is. Just gonna get a drink of water here. Oh goodness. I'm gonna need some of that money soon. So remember we are playing on hard, but um because we're playing with a more realistic mod, the prices are adjusted. Oh I didn't realize that there too. Jeez. There's a chicken coop right here, it looks like. And there's an incubator right there too. Wow. Cool. So if I, was, I don't think we have any chickens, do we? No, I didn't think so. We have a little bit of. We have ten cows, and we have no. Hmm. We have no manure. Maybe the manure production on this is really slow. I don't know. All right. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, whoa! That was close. Jeez. Uh, so we got 350 liters now. So that should <laughs> allow us to finish the field, I think. 
Uh, but we're gonna find out in a second here if it's gonna <laughs> do it or not. Oh, well, that was expensive. A little expensive. Actually, we'll do this and this. Stop. Unfold. And we'll do another little bit here. Perfect. Look at that. Well, not perfect. There's only so much I can do. Alright. Stop there. And then we'll back up. Now, interesting enough, a lot of... Some farmers don't have the ability of hiring a sprayer to come in uh, or contracting it out, and they do it themselves. And uh, you'll need, I believe, in those types of scenarios, you'll use a specific type of tire that basically reduces the amount of uh, damage you do to the crop. I think they're called row crop tires. Uh, actually, I guess row crop tires would actually be for row crops. But I think people they tend to use those types of tires for when they do fertilizing. Uh, when the plants are grown, basically, because uh, it reduces the damage you do to the crop. Uh, in other scenarios, like when you're fertilizing, uh, when the plants haven't grown, that's when what they'll use probably is like a flotation tire or something, in order to reduce the amount of compaction that they experience on uh, on the field itself. So that's my ex that's as far as much as I know in that regard. So I have seen a, a truck with flotation tires do a fertilize the field. It's kind of cool to watch, actually. Um, if you know what the... Uh, what's it called? It's a Volvo mod that is from FS-UK. An articulated track, truck like that. It was kind of like that, except it wasn't... Art I don't think it was articulated, but it was similar style. So like a big truck, a tank, with huge boom arms. It was pretty cool to watch, actually. Oh my goodness, we're going through this it's a lot quicker than I want to. Mix. Looks like we're going to get one field fertilized, and that's going to be it, probably, because otherwise we're going to go way, way, way into the red. Which is not my intention at all. Oh my goodness. Alright. So we got like two passes left, maybe. Oh, man. We may have to upgrade our sprayer soon. Or, well, I don't know what we're going to do, actually. Because it is expensive. Wow. Uh, what we might actually do is we may, uh, depending on depending on prices and whatnot, we may upgrade or use um, pigs instead. I think there's pigs in this map. Actually, I think there are. I have a check actually. I don't remember seeing a pig building, or maybe I did. I don't know. Playing on two different maps at the same time makes it kind of interesting to remember which map has which on it. Perfect. Alright. There we go. Fertilized one field. Jeez. Uh, let's just turn this off for a second. And I need to rem remind myself where I dropped my cultivator. I want to say it's over here. Yeah, it's over there. I can see the red now. Alright, it's right there. Perfect. Alright, so... We're gonna have to sell some stuff in order to get enough money in order to fill this fertilizer again. Oh, that's ridiculous, because that one little tank is gonna do that. It can do that field, but it'll just take a long time and cost way, way, way too much. Uh, what do we have? Hmm, not much. All right. All right, so what I'll do is I'll stop the episode for there, or there for now, I should say, and I'll come back in the next episode and we'll deal with this impending crisis that we're about to face in terms of money and whatnot. All right, so we'll stop there for now, folks. My name's Ian Robs, and this has been Farming Simulator 2013, and we're playing on Lomerheim. Catch you guys later.